forced to move back in with your parents. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee and let's have a look at this article from Yahoo Finance about, well, Aussies forced to move back in with their parents. Now we've heard about this before, remember during the COVID mania when we had the lockdowns and everyone was moving back home to save on rent. So in a city apartments, their rents came tumbling down. Not for houses though. So let's check this one out because, well, I mean, if you save money, you save money. And if your parents can help provide you a cheaper place to stay, cheaper rent, do it. But there's going to be some dynamics that need to change. You may need to grow up a bit in your relationship with your parents. So let's check it out. So Aussies forced to move back in with their parents are no-brainer. So Australians are feeling the weight of rent hikes and the rising cost of living, and it's forced some to move back in with their parents. One Aussie took to social media to ask for advice about moving back home and shared they were self-employed and earning between sixty and 70000 per year after tax. Paying rent is taking a toll on me physically and mentally. I have an autoimmune condition which makes affording medication very expensive, and my landlord just upped my rent by $100 a week. They shared on a popular Reddit subreddit. My parents have offered me to live with them temporarily to top up my savings in order to finally buy a property. I'm a bit, a bit uncertain about living with my parents in my 30s. But we have a good relationship and they have two empty bedrooms. And I will, of course, help them out with cooking, bills and chores. Honestly, this might not be multi-generational living together. It's common in many parts of the world. And it's probably not going to be as bad as people tend to think. It might give you a chance to bond with your parents in, in, in at a different age as adults. You know, you'll be a, your roommate then. You better be paying rent and helping them out. But it should be, if it's everyone's mature and sensible enough, it should be fine, shouldn't it? And, you know, they'd probably like to see you too and help you out, get you in a house, get you married and pumping out grandkids. In the comments, Aussies encouraged the user to move back home and said they shouldn't feel embarrassed. Move back in, that's a no-brainer. One person commented, yeah, you really shouldn't. You really shouldn't feel embarrassed because if your parents were in trouble, then, well, and you've got a place, you've got to get them, they've got to move in with you. It's about taking care of family. Don't buy into the Western, particularly American concept of living with your uh, family above a certain age is the worst, most embarrassing thing in the world. Plenty of other cultures live under the same roof with three generations, another person said. Others said they were struggling too and were also planning to live with their family. I just sold my middle, middle townhouse. My mother, myself and my kids are going to share a house. I can't afford the mortgage plus body corporate fees and everything else. One single mum commented. 28-year-old master's degree, working in a senior consulting job. Had to just move back in with my parents as I cannot afford the rent, another said. See, this is the thing. I mean... 28-year-olds with a master's degree working in a senior consulting job, you think you'd be able to afford the rent, but it just shows you where, it, where it's all heading now. Last year, Finder estimated there were 858,000 households that had an adult child living at home. They found Aussies could save an extra $24,927 per year by moving back home. I mean, what parent wouldn't do that? If they, you know, if they either can, aff they can afford to give you money to buy a house or many can't, but they can have you living there. It's more, it's also cheaper just having more people living together in the same place. It's more cost effective. We've got Rachel's sister living with us and rather than her having to pay rent, she can stay with us or rent separately. She can stay with us, does her own thing and she can, you know, see the kids too. Right now she's uh, helping by watching the kids while I quickly run over and record. So it's kind of, it's the best of both worlds. Uh, find a money expert, Sarah Migginson said, staying at home for a few extra years rent-free could add tens of thousands of dollars to your savings. But she stresses the importance of having a budget in place and minimizing your spending. Yeah, you've got to, you've got to be mature about it. Oh, rent-free is even better. I mean, if you can get rent-free, that's crazy. That's like Macca's worker level property portfolio hack right there. Rent-free at home. I mean, that's always always the key to the story. They just go gun home, work nuts, spend nothing and put it all into property. 
So, okay, that's that's it. That's the article. Well, there you go. Let, let's let's have a bit of a talk about this one. Go. So here's the question: Would you move back in with your parents, depending on your age, or if you've got all the kids, would you let them move in with you to help them save money? I think it seems like a no-brainer. If you've got a good, healthy relationship, fine. I mean, you've got to establish boundaries. You've got to realize it's an adult relationship. and You've got to treat it as such, but still. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one in the comments down below. And if you're a fan of the channel, check us out on Heiser Bim and Heiser Does. And you can also support us on YouTube, Patreon, using our referral links, Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, and Aussie Broadband. Buy our pocket squares. They're the 10,000 subscriber specials. We still have a couple in stock. Or call us if you need an architect. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode of Heiser Says. Bye for now.